prior to the reading, I don't know anything about the people. In other words, what we're doing here is, is a public event, and we've opened it to the general public. So whoever comes in, I know absolutely nothing about anyone. And that's also part of evidential mediumship. I'm supposed to bring forth pieces of evidence from the other side, from spirit contact, that I have no reason to know. Is this a child? Yes. All right, I'm feeling incredibly unstable on my feet and dizzy, which is indicating that there was something going on um, with my mental clarity, well, with the spirit's mental clarity prior to passing. Does this make sense to you? Could be. Okay. And all right, I'm feeling um, what to me feels like when when I feel a collision. Okay, um, that doesn't always mean like an automotive type collision, it, all, it usually means a quick and unexpected passing. Does this make sense to you? Yes. Okay, but automobile does not. No, automobile. Automobile yes. does, okay. I, I feel that there were two vehicles involved. Yes. Okay. Was this a daughter? No? Was he with? with a girl yes, yes. okay because I'm getting a, a, a young man and a woman yes both of them coming through okay this Tuesday makes sense I believe that's the day I seen him last okay because I'm hearing that moody blue yes song. it is Tuesday Tuesday that's the last day I seen him it's a beautiful song okay I don't know if he was a Moody Blues fan, but it's no. what's happening though is the concept of Tuesday and that that's coming through and um, the way I'm perceiving Tuesday is in a beautiful fashion. So if that was the last day that you saw him, then Tuesday is enshrined in love as far as he's concerned. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a J sound, J, 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 J makes sense? His name was Jerry. Jerry, okay. This is interesting what he's saying. He says it didn't have to happen, but it had to happen. And what I'm getting from that is there was like an element of accidental, um, it was an accident, okay, as opposed to an intentional act. So the concept is it didn't have to happen, but it had to happen. And I get that a lot. This is one of the things I'm, I'm working on now is there's a day we're gonna be born and a day that we're going to die. No parent ever wants to hear this. Nobody ever wants to hear this about a loved one, but it really appears, and I've done thousands of readings, that no matter what, we're coming in on one day, we're going out on another day. What we have choice in our life is what we do in between those two dates. And he says, I wasn't bad, because I could have been better. He goes, but I really did enjoy the ride, okay? And he's got very complimentary things that he wants to say to both of you. First off, he wants to talk to his mom. He says, you know, you were always in my corner. He goes, and no matter what I did, there was always a kind of a way out. You were sort of, in lawyer terms, his loophole, okay? Um, you always uh, provided him validation, love, companionship. And not only were you mother and son, but you were like best friends, okay? and he could talk to you about anything. Absolutely. And he says, um, breaking your heart through his death, which was not an intentional thing, okay. is if he had a regret in heaven, that is what the regret is, was breaking your heart. You were his pillar of strength. You taught him all types of things, and you taught him to think for himself, make up his own mind, and never to let anyone walk all over him. And he really appreciates that. He also seems, to, you're a very analytical person, and he says that he was a good mix between the two of you, between the emotional and the analytical. And he really enjoyed that. He liked the way you could look at a situation and not see a problem, but only see solutions. And that's what he, part of what he wants to thank you for. Also, he said, he could not possibly respect you more because he always knew 
and you were always man enough to tell him, I love you. That's beautiful. So that's what he wants you to know. But are you, I want to make sure I understand, does he have a broken heart in heaven? Or, he, or I don't no, want they, they don't him have to broken be broken hearted. They don't, see, death isn't sad for those who died. It's only sad for us. Yes. Okay? Because he's looking at things in a different perspective. And even if you lived another 50 years, you'll be along in his reckoning in a few moments because of the way right. time doesn't have time there. He says, if I had a regret in heaven, it was because I broke your heart because I died. Okay. Okay. Because he what did. he's saying is he feels and understands your grief and your pain. And who's the Virgo? You are. Because I'm hearing like a Virgo. <laughs> I'm the Virgo. Not that that's what Madonna's saying, but that's how they give it to me. <laughs> Thank I'll you. leave that with you. God Thank bless. you so much. Sorry for your loss. Sorry for your loss. I thought it was really, really good. I thought he just hit it right on.